Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Seizabu and it's time for another Pokemon sleep video. I know, it's been a while and honestly, one of my favorite topics I cover on the channel is Pokemon sleep. About a few weeks ago, I was playing and I woke up one morning to a shiny Eevee. I could not believe it, I was so happy. I posted about it on Instagram and literally a couple days later, they announced that Eeveelution or Eevee Week is going to be coming to Pokemon Sleep and it just so happens that it's going on today. Now this video is a little bit late, but I wanted to kind of put out a guide on what you should evolve your shiny Eevee into for the week or if you do manage to get a shiny Eevee. And at the end of the video, we're gonna kinda take a look at everything that we've looked at and we're gonna be evolving my shiny Eevee. So let's go ahead and see which Eevee Lucian you should evolve your shiny Eevee into. So happening now is Eevee week. Let's go ahead and click on this and look at the details on the event. November 21st is Eevee Day. This week long event is a special opportunity to celebrate Eevee Day. During the week, Eevee and its Eeveelutions or evolutions will be more likely to appear. You may even meet a shiny Eevee. Also, if you conduct sleep research on Eevee Day 1121, you can get 1,121 bonus sleep points. You can get great rewards like Eevee incense by completing limited time missions during the event. In addition to the Your Helper Pokemon's main skill will be more likely to trigger during the event, which is very helpful. We hope you're looking forward to all of this. The event period is from Monday, November 18th to 4 a.m. to Monday, November 25th, and it ends at 4 a.m. in the morning. This event is for all areas, and we're also going to take a look to uh, some areas will also be likely to spawn more evolutions. So we're going to take a look at that as well. And here it is. During research, Eevee and its evolutions will appear more likely. You may meet a shiny Eevee. It's pretty much repeating the same stuff and you get that 1,121 sleep bonus points. If we click on the news, it also pretty much just says the same thing, but we're going to scroll down here just a little bit. And right where I was talking about earlier, each Pokemon will have a greater appearance area in different areas. So Eevee in all areas. And then for the grasslands, you got Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Espeon, Umbreon, Leafeon, Glaceon, Sylveon. Uh, and then for Cyan Beach, you have Eevee and Vaporeon. For Tapu Hollow, you have, or Tape Hollow, you have Eevee, Flareon, Espeon, and Umbreon. For the Snowdrop Tundra, you have Eevee and Glaceon. For Lapis Lake, you have Eevee, Espeon, and Leafeon. And for the Old Gold Power Plant, you have Eevee and Jolteon. So now moving on to how my guide will work. With each evolution, I will be showing you the easiest way to encounter each Pokemon, along with the skill that the Pokemon has. We will take a look into consideration on how it evolves and the number of sleep hours or time it takes to evolve the Pokemon. And lastly, the berries and ingredients it gives. At the end of the video, I'll also talk about the sub-skills that are best for the Pokemon and the best natures. With gathering this information, we'll see what my little Eevee is going to evolve into. I also forgot to mention that we will be ranking each evolution as well. So it's going to be S, A, B, C, D, and F. So by the end of this, you'll definitely know which evolution you'll want to have on your team. And now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the first Pokemon. So some of you may be like, you know what, Eevee is perfect just the way it is. To which I'd say good for you, it definitely is. There are some benefits to keeping your Eevee just the way it is. Eevee is the easiest to encounter, as it can be found in the green grassland aisles at Basic 4 and all other locations at Basic 1. So I would tell you that if you're hunting for specifically Eevee or Shiny Eevee, probably hunt anywhere but the first area. Its skill is very useful, and it has Ingredient Magnet S. It has a carry limit of 12 berries and or ingredients. You'll also notice a trend that the ingredients for each mon is going to be Moo Moo Milk, Soothing Cocoa, and Bean Sausage, but the berries will change. Eevee is Prism Berry. Overall, I'm going to give Eevee skill a B, and I've actually really enjoyed having Eevee just by itself on the team, too. It's been really, really fun using it in the Lapis Lake trying to hunt for that shiny war turtle. Vaporeon is the second Pokemon on our list, and Vaporeon is basically an evolved, obviously, and more powerful Eevee. Vaporeon is a little tougher to obtain, and it will need a Water Stone to evolve. Oh, and one more thing. Remember that Eevee will need 80 candies to evolve as well. The Water Stone and all the other stones can be purchased with sleep points in the shop, so take advantage of those sleep points we'll be earning during the event. Vaporeon can be encountered after reaching Master 5 rank at the Green Grass Isles and Master 2 rank on Siam Beach, and is a slumbering type. Once again, Vaporeon is very similar to Eevee and has the ability Ingredient Magnet S, and its berry is an Oran Berry. 
Vaporeon can be very useful and should definitely be considered when thinking about what to evolve your Eevee into. I'm going to give Vaporeon a B rank as well, and oh yes, the shiny is beautiful. This may kind of be an unpopular opinion, but Flareon is actually my least favorite shiny of the evolutions. Still though, it's a very good shiny compared to some. But is it useful? Let's take a look. Flareon can be found at Master 5 rank in the green grass and Master 1 rank at Tapu Hollow. It is a snoozing type and it has the skill Cooking Up Power. If you have a team of ingredient mons, Flareon is going to be very useful. It also has a Lepa Berry as its berry, and in order to evolve into a Flareon, it's going to need a Firestone. Cooking Up skill is very useful, especially with a decent nature and sub skill to back it up. Flareon also has a capacity of 14, which means it's one more higher than Vaporeon and can hold a little bit more berries and ingredients. We will be taking a look at the natures and the subskills best for it at the end of the video, but leaving that out of the equation, I'm still going to give Flareon a B rank just because I still think that its skill is very useful. Sizabu Fun Fact Jolteon was the first evolution on my team because I kept failing to catch a Pikachu when I played Fire Red when I was a kid. It was one of my strongest Pokemon on my team, and in Pokemon Sleep, I still think it's one of the strongest evolutions. With the addition of the old gold power plant, Jolteon can be found there at only Ultra Rank 3 and Master 5 Rank as a snoozing type in Green Grass. It will need a Thunderstone to evolve. Its skill is Extra Help S, which is one of the best skills in the game. It holds a Greppa Berry and has a carry capacity of 17, which is really high. This isn't favoritism, but I'm giving Jolteon an A rank, and if you get more than one shiny Eevee or you just want an Eevee Lucian on your team, Jolteon is definitely a must-have on the team. This is going to be a very unpopular opinion, and it hurts to do this because I really love this Pokemon, but Espeon in Pokemon Sleep is just not it, and unfortunately it's thanks to its skill, which I hope the team will one day change. Espeon can be found in the green grass at Master 5 rank, Master 1 at Tapu Hollow, and Lapis Lakeside at Ultra 4 as a snoozing type. What makes Espeon not so useful is Charge Strength, which is only really slightly increasing Snorlax's overall strength. I honestly think that any Mon with this skill is the least helpful in the game, but it's just my opinion. Looking at the other side of this, of course, if you have ribbons from sleeping with your Pokemon and the skill triggers often, it could be useful, but for me, not really. Espeon's berry is a Mago berry, and it has a carry limit of 16, which isn't bad at all. And of course, in order to evolve, it must have slept with you for 50 hours on your team, and evolve it during the hours of 6am and 6pm. In between those times, totally fine, and it has to be local time. I'm giving it a D rank, unfortunately. It's just very pretty to look at, but that's about it. Alright, probably everyone's favorite evolution, Umbreon. Umbreon recently had a change in its ability, but is it any count? Let's talk about it. Umbreon can be encountered at Master Rank 5 at Greengrass and Master 1 at Tapu Hollow as a dozing type. Probably again one of the easiest ones to obtain, and personally the one that I've seen the most. Its skill is equivalent to Charge Energy S and has been renamed as Moonlight. It means that it's pretty decent at healing itself, but it is a random heal to any other Pokemon on the team. This is what hurts it the most in my opinion. It has a low carry limit of 14 and holds the Weaky Berry. In order to evolve Umbreon, it's going to need 150 hours of sleep on the team and the exact opposite hours of Espeon, 6pm to 6am local time. I love the shiny and honestly Umbreon is in the top 3 of what I'm considering to evolve Eevee into on my team, but it's a C rank for me. This hurts me so bad because I recently did a challenge video featuring Leafeon, and while I was doing research on this, I didn't realize it was just that bad. As beautiful as the shiny is for Leafeon in, and as much as I think it's an underrated grass type, Leafeon is the worst evolution in Pokemon Sleep. Remember, before you guys get mad, I'm not saying it shouldn't be on the team. It's my personal ranking, and it's just not going on my team. Here's why. Leafeon can be found at Master 5 rank on Green Grass, and then Ultra 1 at Lapis Lake as a dozing type. It's similar to Umbreon, but just worse. And this is what hurts it. It doesn't even heal itself, just one random Pokemon on the team. And that's it. That's what makes it so bad. It also has a carry limit of 13. Ouch. And it has a Durin Berry. And honestly, uh, you could just use Meganium. I mean, I have a Meganium on my team, and uh, it's just a way better ber Berry Pokemon. But if you love Leafeon and you still want it on your team, you'll need a Leaf Stone to evolve it. It's an F for me. I'm sorry, Leafeon. I still love you, though. Now, this may shock some people, but Glaceon is actually the exact opposite of Leafeon. Glaceon is very similar to Flareon. 
It can be found at Master Rank 5 in Green Grass and Ultra 5 at Snowdrop Tundra as a Slumbering type. You will need an Ice Stone to evolve it. Now, it does have a carry limit of 12, which is super duper low, but it makes up for it with its cooking ability. It gives you 7 more ingredients in your pot and has a Rost Berry as its berry. This may be a little bit high and some may disagree, but it's useful when you have an ingredient team, so I'm giving it a B, same as Flareon. Also, as far as the shiny goes, mm, meh, it's mid. And lastly, it's Sylveon. Most will say that it's the best evolution and or Pokemon in the entire app. Sylveon can be found at Master Rank 3 in green grass only, and its berry is a Petchka berry. But let's get into the challenges of actually obtaining a Sylveon. You're going to first need to have Eevee on your team and sleep with it for 150 hours. What makes this Pokemon so great to have on your team is that it has a skill known as Energy for Everyone S. Now imagine getting ribbons with Sylveon and how often that skill can trigger. Sylveon heals your entire team. Luckily, for those just looking to have a Sylveon on your team, they are giving away a free incense right now for participating in Eevee Week. So go, go right now and add Sylveon to your team after getting a good night's rest. Oh, and I forgot to mention that Sylveon has a carry limit of 15. So, here are just a few sub-skills you may want to try and have on your Eeveelutions. These work for all of them too. You're going to want to be triggering their skills as much as possible along with the skill level. And as far as natures go, these were the top two natures that I found that weren't neutral that I thought that were the best. Sassy triggers main skill plus, but also has minus experience, which I don't think that experience is too much important really after they're fully evolved. And gentle, which is also another plus in main skill and then minus in energy. But like I said, if you have Sylveon healing everybody, it's not too bad. And then honestly, right now my Eevee has a neutral nature, so I really think that any neutral nature is going to work as well. So let's go ahead and head back on to the app and see who I'm evolving Eevee into. All right, guys, so we've taken a look at every evolution. Let's go ahead and decide what we are evolving my shiny Eevee into. I've done a lot of thinking, and honestly, I know exactly who I'm going with, and you probably do too. Let's go ahead and evolve my Eevee into a Sylveon. All right, so as you all can see, I actually got a ribbon for uh, having Eevee on my team this long, and I gotta say, he's been really, really good. We've got 406 Eevee candies, and he's level 32. So as you can see, I've met the requirements for pretty much everything. And actually, I do not have, I already have a Sylveon, but I want a shiny Sylveon. So here we go. We're going to hit select. And actually, we've logged 208 hours with the Eevee. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and evolve him. I'm super excited. I can't wait for that color, the blue color. Oh, look at it, it's evolving, Super Sparkles. And we have a shiny Sylveon on the team. Hopefully we don't get a shiny Sylveon off that incense. But that is going to be it for the video today. We've got the shiny Sylveon. I hope that my guide was helpful for you all and it helps you all decide what evolution you want to have on your team or if you get a shiny Eevee for Eevee Week, what you're going to evolve it into. Thank you all so much for your support with the Pokemon Sleep videos. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment and I will catch you all next time in another Pokemon Sleep video. Until then, peace out. Bye.